I'm the counseling teacher and today I'm going to show you some things that I consider very important for a school counselor's office. My box that I have from packing up from last year, I went ahead and put all the things that um, are real important to me and vital to my um, office in here and I want to share those with you. Two of my favorite things are these little um, balls that the kids can play and um, hold and they can actually, they have a bell that rings if you win. Let's see if I can do this. Um, these bins came from Target and I just thought they were really cute. And I ended up finding a chair at Goodwill that matched it totally. That was really awesome. Um, but I just put some of the stuff in there and put them on a little table in front of my desk and the kids can just pull them out as needed. I feel like if they have something to play with or to fidget with, they're going to be able to talk to me more and open up. Oh, crucial, your confidentiality signs. It's really important that you have in your office somewhere a place where kids can see your confidentiality rules. I mean, even though you're going to tell them in class, you also need to have them up where they can see them. So I actually made these in my store and I have them up. Um, but you can make them yourself or whatever. They can all be on one sheet, whatever you want to do. But I think that's really important to have in there. Another thing, coloring books. Coloring is something that can help them calm down and it will also help them to open up and talk to you. Thank you cards. These are from Target Dollar Spot, which we all love, um, but I just always have these on hand because you just never know if you wanna say thank you to someone, not just for a gift, but maybe something that they did for you or said to you that just kinda of made your day. Just little fun things like this Etch-a-Sketch. This is old school. Um, the adults play with it more than the kids, but it's fun to have something in there for the teachers too. A little nostalgia because sometimes the teachers come in there and they wanna talk and they've had a bad day and um, they need something to just make them smile. So that's always good. Anything to do with building is great. Um, if they are able to do something with their hands, um, they're more likely to talk to you because it kind of takes the spot off of them and um, they love these. These were from a store called Knowledge Tree and I paid way too much for them, but they were super cute. Everything can't come from the dollar spot. I like to have colorful erasers because sometimes I will say something about erasing negative thoughts. Um, I have some bigger erasers that I was gonna add to that this year. Just some fun um, big erasers that I found. I think these were the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Oops, my bad. Um, anything just silly that I can get, I'm going to have it on my desk. And anything you find that's unique is going to be good. This is my hall pass. Um, it's just a big, goofy pencil. Anything big, goofy, silly, different middle school kids, especially upper elementary school kids, are going to love. So they like to carry this around. I don't have the lead in there, so it's not dangerous for them to carry around. Um, but it really does erase. It did used to write. Um, but since it's broke, I thought I'd use it for a hall pass. I'm so excited about Mad Matter. I got these at Michael's. Um, this is just, it's kind of like kinetic sand, sand, Play Doh, anything the kids can just fidget with in their hands. Um, is going to be a big hit. The colorful stuff is even better. Uh, the grown-ups, the administrators, the uh, teachers, parents, they play with the sand. It's not just the kids. This stuff is not just for the kids. It's for everybody because when they come to our office, a lot of times it's to vent. Um, a lot of times parents need some support as well. And they like toys. We all do. 
I have some silly stuff for teachers sometimes. I, I made these little no flags. Uh, if a teacher comes in and they're overwhelmed and they're talking about all the things that they have to do and they've been asked to do this, they've been asked to do that. I thought these are fun. Let's just give them a couple of these to take back to their desk um, to reply to whoever asked them to do a favor. Um, nope, nobody nope, no thanks. Um, just a flat out no, I can't. There were some by Felicia's in here, but I think all my teachers took those. That was quite a favorite of them. But just something silly to make their day a little less stressful is always a plus. This is a sound machine that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Doesn't matter where you get it, they're all pretty much the same. But sometimes when a student is coming in my office and they want to talk about um, something private, and um, I do share an office with another counselor, and if someone else just happens to be in there, like another student with that counselor, even though it's private, they just feel better when I can turn on the music, the spa music. Um, there's also some ambient lighting that goes along with this. That's Any really little handheld games. Um, this is called Spot It. Sometimes you have a kid come in and they have to stay in your office for a little length of time. And before you can get some work from their teachers, you may just want to have some little things to engage them a little longer. So Spot It, got it at Target. Um, but I think you can get it anywhere, um, Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Um, those are right to have. This is a new one this year. I can't wait to open that up and add it to my, to my goodies this year. Another thing that the kids really like is this hourglass. I think I got it at Target. Um, it's just something different and it kind of gives them something to focus on other than whatever reason brought them in. Another great thing to have is a wax warmer. Um, if you can get a lavender scent, that's great. Um, hopefully you won't get in trouble with your fire marshal. Um, sometimes we just ask for forgiveness instead of permission or things like that because I think it's really important that the kids have that lavender scent to calm them down when they're not feeling calm and they're needing that extra something to help them out. The combination of the music, the lighting, and the smell all kind of come together to help them if they're having a panic attack or if they just have had a bad day. Also, I forgot to show the sand toys. A few of those that I use with my Mad Matter. Or I also have some kinetic sand that I left in a box somewhere at school. I couldn't find it. Um, it's just regular looking sand that I had those toys with and I promise you everybody loves playing in that sand. Um, my principal will come in and play with it um, all the way down to the teacher's kid. So, and my child, actually one of my kids, I have three, likes to bring it home and so sometimes it disappears from my office. Another great thing to have is a clipboard. Um, this one's a lot of fun. Uh, I got it personalized from Erin Condren. But it's great to have a clipboard to carry around with you for school tours, for you can put a little, um, put your business card in there, an info sheet for when you're showing people around. Um, it's also just great if you need to take notes because obviously someone's going to stop you as you're walking down the hall and tell you something, hey, check on so-and-so or do this or do that something great for you to write down um, or to use to write on. Let's see, um, this is a squishy that my daughter made and she's sitting over here watching. Um, but she made this out of a balloon. She watches a lot of YouTube videos and um, supposedly this is the best squishy in the world because what does it have in it, Emma? Slime. It has slime in it. Um, so she makes a lot of slime in the house with my husband because he's still a big kid and he likes to make slime too. So I have some of their homemade slime in here. I have made things with students in the past. I haven't made slime with them yet, but I do plan to do that this year. 
Um, my husband bought me a humongous tub of glue to take to school and make slime with. The fluffy slime apparently is the one, that's, that's not it. That's, this is it? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ew. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for that, but <laughs> it is, there are some that are less messy than that one. That one got a little sticky. Y'all added a little extra glue to it. Here's the blue one. You can put glitter in it and just really get crazy. Okay. I like this one. It doesn't stick to me as much. Um, right. But it's not that expensive to make if you use some of the cheaper ingredient recipes. And um, you can make it for small groups or you can do for a whole class. Well, what you can do is get these little glad things and make a big pot of it together and then give everybody one of these um, to take home. That's just a fun little thing that you can make together um, while you're talking. Another thing I like to have is, I didn't bring it with me, Play-Doh. I like to take a crate of Play-Doh to class with me sometimes because it's something that I can hand out to all the kids while I'm talking and they're still listening to me. I have middle schoolers, so I'm competing for attention with their peers because in middle school they're hyper-focused, hyper focused hyper um, thinking about what their peers are thinking about them. So they're not so much interested in what I have to say. So I have to really pull out all the stops. So I will give them Play-Doh. Um, a lot of my lessons have a coloring element on them, some type of Zen coloring element to calm them down, keep them focused. I just want them focused on their desk because if not, they're gonna be looking around at their peers and trying to impress them. Okay, and the last thing I want to mention is stress balls. Just have a variety of stress balls, but they're great to just have as a takeaway to send with the kids when they leave your office. Another thing I like to send with the kids while I'm on that topic is I like to have little inspirational bookmarks. I made some, they're in the store, and I put a coloring element on there so that they can color it. We can be talking about whatever tip is on that bookmark and I can send it to them as a takeaway. All right, I hope you have a wonderful school year and um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, you can leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching.